Yeah, I'll always be a metalhead. They, nothing can take that away from me. Right. I mean, not jail, not people, not religion, not anything. I'll always be a metalhead. Metalhead, metalhead, metalhead. 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 You're listening to The Great Metal Debate Podcast. Welcome, Metalheads, to another episode of The Great Metal Debate Podcast. It's Xander with another back-to-back album review. Today, I'm probably going to be giggling a lot during this because we're talking about a parody band. Yes, that's right. Good old-fashioned spoof comedy. This band is called Dimu Bongnir, <laughs> which is making fun of the popular symphonic black metal band Dimu Borgir. This is their brand new album titled Dark Medieval Hash, <laughs> which is making fun of Satyricon's debut album Dark Medieval Times. The black and white album cover even looks similar. Before I go any further, I have to point out that this band actually is from Norway. That is the one thing about this band that isn't a joke. Also, this band is basically the modern black metal equivalent of the band Cannabis Corpse. Those of you who don't know, Cannabis Corpse is a parody death metal band that makes their own original music, but takes small jabs at other classic old school death metal bands by changing around song and album titles to fit marijuana themes. The same thing is happening here, only it's black metal, and the music isn't exactly original. I just discovered this band the other day, thanks to the YouTube algorithm, bringing me to their music video for A Witch is Stoned. Bongen's Karmer Del One is a two and a half minute instrumental intro track, which is clearly a parody title for Jimmy Borgier's instrumental Sorgen's Karmer Del One, even if I personally am more familiar with the song Sorgen's Karmer Del Two. Ah. Okay, I'm looking at the track list. The final track on the album is Bongen's Karma Del 2. Makes sense. I'm not really sure what Du Som Royker Brunt is supposed to be a spoof of, but next we have the album title track followed by Death Kush, which is a jab at Mayhem's Death Crush. I Trolled's Good Fire Weed is a parody of Trolled's Garg Foreign Villain by Olver. I just had to type that in on YouTube to find that out because, honestly, I didn't, I'm not too familiar with Olver. However, I also had no idea that Pippin's a pin barring and tech leg... Look, okay, I, I'm not Norwegian. I have no idea what the fuck this shit says, all right? <laughs> I don't know what they're supposed to be spoofs of either, but the idea is still funny. I assume that Pippin's is probably a word that means smoking because it sounds like pipe. Honestly, if I had no idea that this was meant to be a comedy band, I would have never known. The music and vocals sound great, albeit nothing groundbreaking. I'm going to keep this review short since I know that this band isn't meant to be taken too seriously. As I already mentioned, it isn't bad, but it's completely unoriginal. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Their music is available on all streaming platforms, but their physical media is completely sold out on their Bandcamp page. I'm not sure if they have plans to do reprints of their Hivis Pippin Tar Os debut that has a colorized parody album cover of For All Tid, but I don't currently see a hard copies of Dark Medieval Hash or shirts available for sale. If you're really interested in showing your support for these Norwegian Weird Al Yankovics, feel free to contact them on their Facebook and ask them about their merch. <laughs> 